Young black girl, black skin, she so lovely. All my little homies in the hood, so my won't talk it. But motherfucker, your standards might have nappy, bitch, I love it. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Your girl is back. What's up, y'all? So today I'm going to be installing this 12-inch. Well, I'm going to be showing y'all how I installed this 12-inch curly unit. So keep watching. This video is in collaboration with Elfin Hair. This is a 12-inch 13 by 4 water wave bob wig. As you can see, the curls are super pretty. They're full and bouncy. So I've braided my hair back as good as I can. And y'all look how long my braids are. Your girl's hair is just flourishing. I'm gonna go in with some wet line extreme gel to smooth my edges back and make everything, you know, real nice and neat, smooth back. Then I'm gonna go over that with my blow dryer to speed up the process of the gel drying. Once I'm done with that, it's time to pin these braids up. So I'm gonna take one side, like one half of the braids and swoop them around my head and then bobby pin them. But I'll take these out later, which you will see in just a minute. So now I am applying my stocking cap and I'm going to be taking out those bobby pins like I said because they can kind of like poke through the wig cap and I don't want it to do that. So taking out the bobby pins now, they just help to keep, you know, my hair swirled around. I think I was able to get my hair pretty flat with this method of braiding. I'm really not the best braider, but I do the best I can and I think it looks pretty flat. I am doing the bald cap method, so I'm gonna go in with some of my got to be freeze blast and spray this all along my hairline and kind of smooth it in with this um, rat tail comb. And of course, I'll blow dry over that as well. Once everything is dry, I'm gonna go in with my foundation to make the fake scalp look as natural as possible. Now it's time to cut away at this wig cap. So I started my ears making a hole, cut around those. Then I'll go up through the center of the wig and cut off the excess of the wig cap. Now I'm just taking a wet washcloth and wiping away like excess gel and freeze blast spray because it can get a little messy. So I just want to wipe that extra off. Now I'm just spraying a little bit of freeze blast spray on my finger to go back over the edges of where I just cut the wig cap to make sure everything is laying as flat as possible, making sure the cap isn't rolling or anything like that. So now I'm placing the wig and trying to situate it on my big old head. <laughs> Just trying to see how everything is going to work out. 
I already know right here I'm gonna have to cut off around the ear tab because it's just a little too much but anyways I'm going in and making some incisions along the um, access lace so that I can begin to apply the wig and tack it down of course I'm using got to be glue gel and I'm just gonna start applying this along the center area first so that I can get this center part tacked down first I then go over the gel with the freeze blast spray for extra security. Then blow dry it until it gets tacky and apply it. I continue this same process for all of the small sections that I do around the edge of this lace front until I'm completely done. Once everything is tacked down, I go ahead and cut away the excess lace. This is where I'm gonna have to cut out some of the hair along my ear. Um, there's too much excess of it, so I have to cut some of the hair off, but it's just gonna make it fit a lot better. And now I'm just touching up the edges with a little bit of the got to be glued gel. As y'all can see, I ended up changing the parting situation. I wasn't really feeling the side part. I usually love a side part, but for this wig in particular, I decided to do a middle part and I like it a lot better. Also didn't do a bunch of baby hairs. I was gonna do baby hairs too. Decided not to do that once I decided to do the middle part with the middle part. You don't really have to worry about baby hairs and edges. Usually just do like a little swoop here in the front or you don't have to do anything at all and it looks really good um i usually pluck my wigs as well this time i didn't which i kind of forgot about it but with this type of style once again with the middle part it's not like a necessity to pluck your wig um with the middle part because you know you're not really seeing those edges now if you do in the future and want to change it to do a side part you might want to go in and pluck it but i like this wig as a middle part and yeah it's real cute now as far as styling these curls all i do is put water on it and i use some mousse so i use this mousse right here on my curls all i really do with this mousse shake it up real good square some on there put it on my hair and then just scrunch it in and it just makes my curls go together just real nice it does come out a little crispy at first but when you just kind of like fluff it out or scrunch out the crunch it just looks, you know, flawless, not crispy and crunchy. Also, the mousse helps to flatten out the top and make everything mold to the shape of your head, which I also like to use mousse for. The mousse process is also a good time to help with defining the curls. Um, if there's like frizz going on, I'll just take a piece, swirl it around, and then it just, once it dries, that curl just looks so popping. These curls on this wig are super pretty. And this is definitely a different look for me. I love to get the inches, 
22 inch, 24 inch, 30 inch, but today I'm rocking a 12 inch. Definitely check out Elfin Hair if you are looking for a shorter curly type of bob. This is some really nice hair and it's cut real cute. Like I said, I really like this wig. So definitely check out the description box because I will have the links to this exact wig as well as links to their website. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications. That's pretty much it. Your girl is out. Deuces. So love to the people that's gonna show love to me. I'm a product of my city. I got buzz in my streets. Ain't my youngin' now.